Good morning, Modern Steaders. It's time to get a fire going in the wood cook stove. This morning we're going to work on putting the foam board insulation up on the side of the wood cook stove. First, we need to get a fire going. I just got off the phone with the company we ordered the material that we're going to be sheathing the inside of the outdoor kitchen with. It sounds like it's going to be in tomorrow, but I'm not sure if they're going to be able to deliver it. So I might have to go pick it up if they can't make the delivery because I really want it so we can get it installed this weekend. To connect our foam to the wall, what I'm going to be using is, we have some two inch long screws, and I have some washers. That's my answer, it'll work great. I got foil back insulation. The reason we got foil back insulation, this will help radiate the heat from the wood stove back into the outdoor kitchen. See how the fire's going. We also need to work on some curtains the outdoor kitchen. I know that's getting fancy, but if you didn't see the video when we were cutting up the prosciutto, I'll put a link to that video right here, there was a lot of glare, and that's because the front of the outdoor kitchen is all glass and it's southern exposure. So when the sun comes in here, it doesn't make for very good videoing. So we're gonna have to get curtains to keep the harsh sunlight out. When you're making YouTube videos, it's just something else to think about. When I was building the kitchen, I wasn't thinking about that. So we'll have to make some adjustments.
I was just getting ready to make my cut on my line, chalk line I made, and that's going to be the width I need to finish the wide part. But I also need a little piece for the bottom. It's four and three quarters of inches long. I'm going to cut that off first. It'll make it easier to cut with having the whole sheet up on the table where if I'm trying to cut a little sliver off of a 12 inch wide piece, it's not going to be as easy. So we'll cut this piece first, set it aside, go back to cutting this piece, install it, bada boom bada bing, make it a little bit easier for us. The best way I found to cut foam is with a wood handsaw. Better make sure we're away from our table. That'd be a terrible thing. messy, but it gives you the best cut I've found. Now that we have the big sheets of the foam insulation put up, we can figure out the length for our little one. The reason why I put the sheets all the way up versus all the way to the floor is heat rises and it, you're going to have more heat trying to escape from the top. So if we have less joints up high, in my head, that's better. Eighty and three. Try to keep it tight so it has a good pressure fit and there's not a lot of gap. Take a piece of wood and use it as a mallet. Now by cutting it tight, we have nice tight fits on the wall on the floor and where it meets the other insulation. So we don't have to worry about cracks and air drafts. We have one thin strip of foam left and behind the window we have a little cavity that needs to get filled. Let's open it up so I can measure it. We'll get the measurement for here, cut it, and we can put the last piece of foam up in there and seal it up the best we can. it off a little bit in here, just opening that window a little bit. You can see my breath again. I'd rather get it done now, have the mess out of the way, than wait to do it later on. This piece won't be as fun to cut.
All right. What a mess. All right, now that we got it cut in half, let's put it in place. All right, focus camera, there we go. I got the foam put in all the way. I had to cut it in half so I could slide it. I couldn't do it all in one piece. But that's all installed. We got a few little cracks here and there, but that's gonna seal it up awesome. insulation's messy. You don't have to breathe in all the dust, but it still makes a mess, especially with all the dry air up in northern New Hampshire. In the wintertime, we just got that much more static cling. Crazy. Now, I was hoping to get some strapping done today, but the insulating it took a little bit longer than I anticipated. But that's all right. We got it all insulated in here for now. Awesome. Tomorrow I can get the strapping up, hopefully get the, I almost slipped and told you what we're putting up for the inside sheathing. Whew. If it comes, it won't be till later. So I'll have time to put strapping up tomorrow, because I won't be able to put the sheathing up when it comes in. We'll have to do that the next day. Gina can give me a hand with that. That'll be great. Be a lot warmer in here, a lot less drafty. It'll be nice to see once we have a fire going for quite a few hours how warm it stays. The only thing I'm not in love with about the Kalamazoo wood cook stove is it won't hold the fire for very long. We gotta keep an eye on it and keep loading wood in it. It'd be nice to have a wood stove out here that we could load up before we went in for the night and then come in the morning and have it still be warm with coals and it would keep the outdoor kitchen nice and toasty. We just wanted to let everybody know we have our t-shirts and sweatshirts in. They're for sale on our website. I'll put a link to that in the description down below. We wanted to say a big thank you to all the modern steaders who purchased t-shirts and sweatshirts already. Thank you for supporting us. So we did a little Black Friday shopping the other day from Stormy Cromer. You ready to see what you got? Yeah. You excited? Yeah. We already know what we got. Yeah. Yeah, but we just don't know what we got. We know what we got. <laughs> oh, you got a pink coat. Oh, well, that's pretty. Yeah. Oh, why do we get pink? I don't want pink. Oh, that's adjustable, Mom. Mom got a headband. For me, not for you. Why? What's those two? Mom needed one for different days of the week. Oh, yeah. She got different colors. <laughs> really? Yep. That's what the guy wanted. She liked this one. Whatever, I don't know. But we can share. Yeah. I think the hat's gonna fit. Oh, I get my Bet you that would work better. Yeah. I got a new beanie. Oh, well, let me wear it. Yeah, let me wear it. I like beanie. I like beanie. You should have left it like the way you just had it. Yeah. I feel like a girl with hair. It's just my a pad. wear it so it has it on. Oh, it has a, oh, you need it. I need my ears covered with super cold. Oh, let me take the tags off. No, no, I put it in. Did you try it on? Did you try Louis' hat? See if it fits your head? Well, I like it. It's because it's a little Yeah, you look good. You look good. Yeah, because that's what beanies do. Normal. Yeah, normal beanies go like this. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe she keep right out? No, this is not right. You guys have to wear it. It's too tight. Too tight. So you don't have the same size head as Olivia? She said hers felt tight. No, no, it'll have to break in. How do I look though? Not this. That's good. Okay. Let me see that one. 
She looks really cute in that. Yeah, yeah. no, because that's what normal beanies do. Even Figaro thinks he got something out of the deal. He's got a new box. Yeah, we're talking about you. You like your new box? Pluto, what did you get? Ooh, that's cute. Let's see, you gotta get over in the light. <laughs> looks cute on you. That's cute on you. Oh. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Share it with all your friends. It really helps the channel grow. It helps us reach new people. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow at... Love the Acres, a guide to modern home settings and self-sufficiency and freedom. Bye. Bye. Bye.